This week we're stepping through the world gate for our second look at Fate of the Gods and make sure you keep watching as three lucky people have the chance to win themselves a RuneScape t-shirt. Ooh. The world gate was created by Guthix to bring races into this world. So we brought the elves in, the fairies, the druids via this world gate. At the start of the Fate of the Gods, the world gate is in the Shadow Realm, which requires Sliske to bring it back into the real world. You've got to think of the world gate almost as like, like a television. You can change it to multiple channels, and each of those channels is a different world. And you can travel to that world. But we're only interested in one in particular for Fate of the Gods. In Fate of the Gods, players are going to use the world gate to travel to the plane of Freneske, which they know so far as being the homeworld of the Majorat. We saw this as the perfect opportunity to, to create a new place, a new environment, something that's alien, and unique and different from the rest of the game. But it's a lot more significant to the wider narrative of the game and we're going to be revealing a lot more about Freneske when players visit. So Freneske birthed the Majorat and the Majorat only survived through their strength and their magical powers. So it's important that just being in this world was hugely hazardous. So you're going to find yourself constantly barraged by lots of environmental effects. So you're seeing lightning bolts, lava bombs, um, all of these poisonous gases, all of these things that make it just a trial to survive in. We took quite a few passes at the uh, level design of Freneske because we wanted to create it uh, a hostile environment but one which players wanted to explore. Also for the look of Freneske we've stuck to a very monochrome palette and used colour very sparingly and this was to reinforce the kind of emotions that we want players to feel as they're exploring the environment. One of the ideas we had for Freneske was that just being out in the open will damage you and you're constantly searching out for safe havens just to give you that moment of security. Of course, we couldn't create an environment that's constantly hazardous without forcing you to look in every single cranny and spend as much time out in the open as possible. So we've placed little kind of hidden things to find if you look carefully enough in Freneske. We've dotted things that we've called memoriam crystals around the world. These will be little snippets of lore for players to discover as they explore the environment. As well as the environment, it was also important that we got Zaros right, possibly more important because there's so much expectation that he looks badass. Our concept artists really nailed the look of the final form of Zaros. We felt that it, it nailed the character straight away. Uh, it was like, as soon as everyone saw it, it's like, yes, that is Zaros. All of the designs of Zaros that have come after that have been informed by him. And there have been reasons to give him slightly different looks and narrative reasons to give him a different feel as well. If I were to give any advice before Fate of the Gods comes out next week, it is to get that Majorat Memories box beforehand and also to immerse yourself in the story. Put on some headphones, listen to the voice acting and try to take in every single story tidbit that we, we are putting on offer for you. My advice before playing Fate of the Gods would be to keep an open mind. You haven't met Zaros yet, you don't know what he's like. Give him the opportunity to explain himself first. Now for your chance to win a signed RuneScape Eat Sleep Scape Repeat t-shirt. Somewhere in this week's behind the scenes there's a hidden frame. Find the frame and email RuneScape videos at jagex.com telling us what the picture is and where in the video you saw it. We'll be announcing the winners next week so good luck. Next week we'll also be taking a look at what updates April has in store for us. So like, share and subscribe to stay up to date on all things RuneScape.